how to upload a low content book to KDP. Hi, I'm Kerry from Dream Creative B, where I give you honest reviews and tips about making money online. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button and the subscribe button to see any more videos I make. In a previous video, I showed you how I created a low content book using a free interior and combining it with Google Slides. The video will be down in the description or the top right hand corner with the card and it's called Creating KDP Low Content Book. So I'm back at Amazon again in the same niche that we were in before where I created a low content book just showing you what we found which was some information and that there's only 416 results with that key term fishing logbook. Now we got our interior from Bookbolt. Again, the link will be down in the description and we clicked on resources, interior wizard, and there are 58 templates for you to use that is free. But there is a pro plan. And if you look on the pricing, there's a monthly one for newbies, but, this, but there is a three day free trial on both of them. The difference is that this one actually comes with puzzle creation software. And again, I will create a video that shows you the difference. Also, if you want to go for either of these plans, you can get a 20% discount using the word Dream Creative B. And again, that will be in the description. So let's go and upload the book we created. And this is the book that we created in the previous video. So we did a front sort of title page to begin with, which we created in Google Slides. We did just a mini copyright. And then this is the interior that we got from BookBolt. And it is one of the free ones. So we've used two free tools. We also created a cover, which is this one here. And we're going to upload those. So you need to go to KDP dot amazon dot com and again the link will be in the description if you click on paperback here because that is what a low content book is it's a paperback do not create it as an ebook because anything that needs to be written in can only be a paperback book with kindle so we click on paperback and here we make sure what our language is in. If you have changed it and made it a different language, you need to make sure you click on there and change what is the language. But our language is in English. Once we're here in the back part, we need to put our book title. Now, our book title is what we put on the front cover. And you must have a book title. You cannot have a blank book. It must have something there. So it can either be on the front or it can be down the spine, but it does need to be a certain size when it's down the spine. And I think it needs to be at least 120 pages. So we've got our book title at the front. Now you don't need to have your subtitle on, the, on your book at all. You used to need to have it, but you don't now. And that's been for quite a while. So I've typed fishing log book. Then I've done the perfect tackle box accessory for the serious fisherman to track and record the ones that got away. And then I wrote my description first and foremost, which is here. And then I needed to change it to HTML. And I'll show you a tool I use. But let's go in. So we've got the book title. All I'm going to do is copy and paste, copy paste subtitle again copy and paste and doesn't need a series name author was J L Jaker not putting any contributors in because contributors are people like other co-authors illustrators editors or translators don't go in here and start putting things like publishing house print house or keyword stuffing like fishing log book here because your book will be thrown back to you so in description we're actually going to be putting this here where it says h4 bold all that because it's html now to get html i use a tool or a website should i say which is Kindlepreneur and it's their book description generator and it's been updated recently and it's got an Amazon book description 
an Amazon editorial review, Barnes and Noble, and a Rakuten Kobo book description. So that's not just for the low content people, it's also for people that create ebooks. And there will be a link to this website in the description as well. So let's go back. So I own the copyright and then the keywords. In this keywords, you can put up to 50 characters into the keywords and it tells you when you're getting near to them. What you need to do is you need to try and fill them out as much as possible. Don't bother putting uh, commas in or semicolons or anything like that because it takes up your characters. And don't bother with the words for, to or um, any word, linking words. So don't bother with them. Just basically put the words that you need in. So I've gone and got some here. Don't know how many characters they are. So let's see. It's not telling me it's full yet, so I will put mom, granddad. Now, one of these you might put on all sorts of notebooks. Uh, I'll put that one here because it might fill that up. And you should try and fill them all up. So I've used common things as well, like Christmas present, birthday present. Now I've put gift and present because in the UK we call a gift a present. So that's why I've done it. So that's cut off there. So wait, we'll stick weight up here. So anything that's extra will stick there. And then notebook tracker there. And again, let's cut that one out. Fisherwoman, Fisherwoman, kids as well. There we go. Although it's not aimed at kids, it's still. And I've also used a cinnamon tool to find. Where did that get to? Fisher, so we've got trawler, rodman, lobsterman. I'll put them there. And then. Final one, Pescator. So we could put something like um, outdoor, hobby, tackle box, log book, but spelt the other way because there's two different spellings of log book. There's log book as a one word or log book as two words. Side, weather. So I'm just trying to fill it out, but you don't need to fill it out, but you can do it as much as possible. Then you need to choose your categories. Now, it can be quite difficult for low content, but I'm going to go into nonfiction. I'm going to go and have a look at sport to see if fishing is in there. Really fishing, fishing. So that's one of them. And we could also go back to Amazon and have a look to see categories these are in and they were not necessarily in the same one so there's hiking there so we'll try hiking so we'll go back and we'll try hiking there we go so we've got those two in fact that could be a keyword as well that's not going to fit there take weather out and put hiking there we go. So we've got the keyword there. It is not large print. Large print, it's usually about 16 points and it also depends on the size of the book. It doesn't contain any adult content. Adult content is usually sex, not necessarily swear words. And there's no swear words in there. So we're going to say no. We want their free ISBN number. We're not bothered about filling that in. We want it as white paper because that is what we chose when we chose the cover. And again, that's in the previous video. And it was six by nine. We had bleed, so we've got bleed. And you want matte if it's something that is going to be outdoors. Glossy usually shows all the fingerprints. It looks very nice, but you know, glossy is probably better with children's books or puzzle books. And then here, we're going to upload both the manuscript and upload the uh, cover and as you can see it says print ready and here you could do it as a pdf should i say print ready pdf only that's a pdf 
or doc docs html nothing for like powerpoint or google slides or anything that's why we do it as a pdf document and somebody told me it's always faster if you upload the cover first don't know if that's any truth in that so i'll go to documents where i've got everything and it was the book cover one it's the blue one i'm going for now this is ugly i agree with you it's ugly but you never know somebody might like it that one's loaded upload this not final merged that was the one and those are what we've done by uploading the manuscript and uploading the cover. Now, the worst part about uploading this book is that it can take a while for it to come through on the launch previewer. I'll time it. In fact, I'll, I'll pause this. Sometimes it does come through quick. And then the next thing, it can take up to 72 hours for your book to be reviewed. And it is reviewed by a person and not not by a computer so it is done that way and other times it can be through in a couple of hours I've had one book that was came through in a couple of hours so let's have a look let's see okay so it's preparing I'm gonna pause the video and we'll come back later Okay, that wasn't too bad. It took about six minutes. Sometimes it can take up to 15 minutes, 20 minutes. It depends. Also, if you're uploading loads of books, you can actually open more than one tab at the top and you can be uploading as you go along. So as long as you're organized and you've got all your titles, your subtitles, your description already created as HTML and your keywords, you can do it quickly. There are also listing tools which i will go through later on that will show you so here is the quality check so it's saying fishing logbook jl jaker which is the name i've given for this one fishing logbook as you can see and it fits in perfectly and like we say this was a free interior from book Vault and combined it with two pages from Google Slides. So we're just going to click approve. So that looks okay. And then we're going to click save and continue. It gives us this printing cost there, but it's the next page where we'll work out our price. Now, all the prices were very similar when looking for fishing logbook. So you could either do more than that, or you can do less than that. So, but we'll do the same price. $6.99 and that'll give us a royalty of about $2.02. The changes on the number of pages that you actually have um, with the print cost as well. I'm not clicking expanded distribution. I used to click them, but there's been a move to, in fact, I might click it. They might remove it. They might actually remove the expanded distribution, but I'm not sure. And you can also change your European prices, your, but always change your Japanese price because that, that is hardly worth anything. So I usually do a Japanese price of about a thousand because that's about one dollar there. So I think the first time I did it, I got about 15 cents for a book I sold in Japan. So that is just simply how you upload. Don't forget that it will take, in fact, we'll press publish. It will take 70, up to 72 hours. And if they find any errors, they'll email you and say any errors. And they'll also say, would you like to publish your book as a Kindle ebook? And the answer is no, if it's a book to be written in. If Now, if you've created a cookery book as a low content paperback, then that you could create as an ebook. So I'm just going to click close for now and you will see that it says in review and it was created on there. So I will show you later if that has come through. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, go and watch the video again or ask questions in the comments. 
Over on the right hand side there are some training and review videos. If you like this video hit the like button and subscribe to be notified about any new videos on my channel.